I just realized there's an upstairs. All right, I'm at Ghost at the Attic. Ghost in the Attic, excuse me, Antique Mall in Portsmouth, Ohio. I'm super excited to be here. Another new place. Wow, this looks awesome. Okay. Now look at these egg salt and pepper shakers. Those are so fun. $9 for the set. That's a good set too. It's been a while since I had these. They're super fun. Oh my gosh, this place is much bigger than I thought. Those are so fun. That's pretty, even though it's got a handle on it. 39. This is interesting. Little clap, crackle glass. I don't think that glows, but let's uh, double check this. I owe this man in West Virginia something for this light. Nope, it doesn't glow. I was right. Yo, what? <laughs> this is blowing my mind right now. Oh my gosh. Look at those Franklin Mint, like Laurel Birch cats. How much are they? $19.95 each, it looks like. Whoa, those are cool. Not sure how well I would do with those at $20 invested in them each keep looking oh my god what is this what what is this crystal cat am i even gonna be able to get it out of there 25 dollars, dude that's so weird it's got a simon design i'm gonna look that up because it's so cool and it's a cat Okay, so they're listed online around that, so I'm going to leave it. Is this freaking Viking? No, I think it's Gobel. It says Viking, but I'm uncertain of that. Porky Pig, how cool. It might be Viking. That's Viking. Look at this poodle. I'm really looking forward to going back in this area, though. Looks like I know where I'm staying tonight. hope there's a uh, decent hotel around here. They have like five antique malls over here and this is only my second one. Really pretty bird. I like the carnival one downstairs better and it's less. Um, what in the heck? Very strange. Blue milk glass, 35. Good God, another section. <laughs> Maybe I should finish with this section first. This is, this is like never ending in the best way possible. Okay, you know how I said they like their milk glass here? Check this out. $20 each is on the vases, though. And, yeah, wow. Planters. Oh, my gosh. There's so much happening around me. This is so fun. Little dog planter. 15 this guy's great. Look at him. Five dollars Japan. What does that say? Germany. Five dollars Germany. I was going to say it does have that German look to him. I'll take that for five bucks. That's a no brainer. Now look at this sad guy back here. He needs a good home. Ten bucks. Japan. He's pretty great. I think I'm going to take him. Nope. He's got a chip. Just kidding. Oh, now I feel bad for him. <laughs> look at this guy. How great. Look at all the little slag glass pots, $10 each. Those are so sweet. A couple really interesting things here. One is this. I don't know, that doesn't feel right though. It feels like it might even be a repop. This is amazing, this figurine, $15. It's got some wear too. If it was a little bit less, I would do it. It's kind of a hit or miss item if you ask me. The camel. <laughs> Okay, but this camel is actually everything. I feel like we never see camels. And it's a pin cushion. It's got some wear. But I feel like weird leaving this camel. Also, there's this duck. Look at this duck. That's so great. What's this? That's unusual. Not so sure about that. Also, can't help but notice... This guy, that's amazing. I love the color on that. 25, that's not a bad buy at all. It's a really decent price for a collector. For me, I could still make money on it, but it's a little close. 
Viking, or it says Fenton. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, that's Fenton. I'm just mistaken. I'm still kind of learning my ropes around the glass. Dude. Oh my gosh. Those are so pretty. You know what I'm looking for, though? Is that, oh, I thought that lifted up. It doesn't. Just kidding. It's that special something. Well, those are really pretty. You know, I have a thing for Dave Fetty. That sounded really weird when I said it. I kind of regret saying it that way. Epic carnival glass situation happening in Marigold. Kana. Really cool lamp. Some salt and pepper shakers. A lot of the ones um, I... S Yo, what? These are $5 and I've never seen them before. They're plastic. How cool is that? I will take those. Now, here's another pair that's really interesting to me. The little bears in the drum. That's cute. Majorette. Or majors, I guess. For five bucks, I'll take those guys. They look in good condition, right? And then in here, the Lovebirds planter. That's cute. $38.50, though. Seem to have made a friend. Um, check this out. Santa? <laughs> I don't know how old that is. It's probably like Taiwan, but it's really great. With the reindeer for 10 bucks, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that. I love it. Now, hmm, that's pretty. Ooh, a little hand and cobalt. That's 20 bucks though. Can't do much with that. Check this out. It looks like Ellie Smith. $20 sad iron dish. That's kind of neat. So many fun little face mugs and things. Look at this one. That one's strange. Japan. $7. He's kind of fun. I think I'm just going to get him. I don't know why I'm so into this. It's different. It's different than the ones I normally see. Oh, I love the ballerina plate too. As is. Yeah, they usually are. 15 that's cheap for what it is, even though there's a chip. If it was for me, I would get it because they're usually about 40 bucks. Is this a little pink lustra wear I see? $9. I never find these anymore. They got a little bit of wear, but for $9, they don't look cracked either. I'll take those. Fun dog bookends. $15. That's a good buy. They look in good condition too. I see this one little nick here. Kind of feel like for 15 bucks, it would be weird not to get those. I'll take them. These are funky lamb salt and pepper shakers. 19. That's uh, a little bit less than what those sell for. It's been so long since I've even seen them though. Some more contemporary stuff mixed about. What? That's weird. <laughs> Look at this little, what is it, soapstone? I can never remember what this material is. It doesn't usually do that well for me, though. Otherwise, I would get it, because that, that little dog is adorable. Another little Fenton moment here. Look at that. That's pretty. $17. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Seventeen dollars. I don't think I can leave this here. This is weird. R.J. Brown, very strange steel plate. I feel like Joss would like that. <laughs> it's super cool, and I can't ignore this marigold vase back here. That thing's epic. Twenty-four dollars. How much on the little basket weave carnival? Ten dollars. Oh, it's super chipped up. Just kidding. Dude, look at that giant jack in the pulpit. It's a sign. Kind of curious. Also, look at that little opalescent bud vase. That's pretty. 22 might be a little close on that. That jack is crazy. I think it's time to get in here. I'm doing a second loop downstairs, and I'm like, wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? As is but like, is that what I think it is? Okay, so at second glance, I don't think it is Rockwood. Although I really think that this is a super good buy at $25.
looks super early. Oh, the only thing that's wrong with it is um, this little chip right here. Yeah, that's amazing. It's definitely an early vase. Might phone another friend on this, a friend that I don't usually call. Oh my God. I just turned around, I even dropped my key. I literally dropped everything. Dude, you're kidding me. I think I need these. I can't leave these here. Oh my God. I'm in paradise. And this does say 1650, so I am gonna go ahead and get it. It's really pretty, let's be honest. This is very cool. This is uh, signed by Mario Sandin or something. It's Pilgrim Glass, actually. It's $95. It's not really my color. I don't feel like messing with it, but it's definitely a really cool piece for a collector. Now, this is an epic piece of Fenton. It's $65. It's huge. It glows like bright green. I'm kind of tempted to get it, but it's not the most unique thing I've seen. So even though I can make money on it, for that price, I want to only invest in things that are incredibly unique. But there's one thing I do have a little bit of a weakness for, as you guys probably know by now, and it is Fenton Rosaline. This is gorgeous. This is an amazing compote. For $30, I am gonna go ahead and take this one home. Look at this box, how cool is that? $8, made in India. Really unusual design. For $8, I kind of feel like that's a no-brainer. I'll take that. Oh, and look, I'm just now seeing the stained glass frog trivet. That's so funny. You know, these don't usually do that well for me. Um, but I haven't learned my lesson yet because this is a frog with moon-shaped eyes and it's also $5. So I kind of feel like I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna just take it. Also, what is this? Ponga. That's really different. $3. That's really cool. Another Derek souvenir, world's largest. Well, that's just cool for $3. We can't leave that here. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff hidden back here. I'm also gonna pick up the chalkware fruit. They look like they're in pristine condition. It's $5 for three. They have the grape, the pear, bananas. Yeah, that's awesome. Cherries. Now I'm still gonna grab both of these Pilgrim Glass Jack in the Pulpits for $10 each, that's a no brainer. I do need to get a price on that. That's too good not to. And um, this little perfume bottle, this little porcelain perfume bottle is five bucks. That's pretty nice too. I think that's gonna be Japanese if I'm not mistaken. The lady who works here is so nice. I've had such a nice time chatting with her. Um, I'm still really into these candle holders honestly 24 on this bird is pretty incredible and now i'm just seeing are those lucite or glass glass gosh it's really cool they look french almost look at this weirdo squirrel planter nine dollars that's so great i think i'm getting ready to call it i need to be removed um wait this is for the three pieces 27 well, that's kind of awesome. I kind of feel like for 27 bucks, all three, why not? Okay, <laughs> you win. I feel like this woman's pulling my chain now. She said, have you been on the third floor? I said, third floor? So I guess this is the second and I'm looking for another floor. Good golly, it says call for help. <laughs> I will definitely probably be calling for help. <laughs> Whew, insane. All right, <laughs> please call for help. That's me. This almost looks like Van Brigle. I don't think it is though. No, it's Japan. That's interesting. It's really weird. And that's a pretty planter. Whew, I am like definitely stuck in Portsmouth tonight. 
because I am not even going to finish half the antique malls. Like 14 bucks? Are you serious? Okay, you guys, you thought I'm, you might have thought I found the most epic chalkware, but I'm pretty sure this is the most epic chalkware. It's a giant dolphin. I don't even want to know how much it is, to be frank. And these owls are really cool. $8 for the pair? What? This is too much stimulation. I love the half doll. She's at 20. And look at Mr. Peanut. That's a great bank. $18 is a super good price for a collector. Oh my gosh. What? Redware Cat. $25. I'm trying to make out what that says. Cruiser? Eugene? Azar? I can't figure it out. It's really cool. I think I'm just going to have to put it in my basket. I'm not sure if it's a good buy or not. I can't make the name out. It's newer than I'd like it to be. I'm just going to hold on to it while I finish this floor at least. If it gets too crazy up here, I'll put it back. I just kind of feel like it's a cat. Come on. Is this a joke? Two piece. Twelve dollars. What? Well, I'm definitely taking the Miller Studio Chalkware Bluebirds. You're kidding me. Three piece. Ten dollars. Three piece. Ten dollars. Sold. Oh my gosh, look at this hand vase. That's a beautiful color, $9. Uh, yeah, I'll take that for sure. And then this little piece of carnival glass, the toothpick holder, Imperial, really pretty, but it's also 16 bucks, which now feels expensive after all the amazing deals I found. What is this? This looks like it's probably new, but it's so much fun. Oh my gosh, it's a pencil holder. How cool. But wait, there's more. $12 on this vase. That's so pretty. I'll take that. And what about the uh, milk glass ribbon edge? 15 That's pretty nice with the pink. Oh, I'm so overwhelmed, dude. There's so much more. <laughs> there's too much more. Look at this. $15 to shut up. No way. I'm taking that. The opalescent on that is awesome. All right, I need to like regroup here. I need another basket. <laughs> now I know why they have the call for help sign. That yellow pitcher is gorgeous at $5. I'll take that. Weird pineapple thing. Little blue glass, $5. Made in Taiwan. Not as impressed by that as I am impressed by this. That's really pretty. I love that lemon. It's like neon. Looks like it's glowing without a black light. Epic dog situation happening. Look at this guy. How much is he? Eight dollars. Porcelain bulldog made in Japan. He's so fun. We'll take him as well. We can't neglect the dogs. I know a lot of people are like, you never sell dogs. And I'm like, I do, I do. I just get more excited about the cat stuff. <laughs> And uh, 25 on that, that's really pretty. And look at all the Viking. This is Viking penguins. Pilgrim, Pe paperweight, $8. Penguin paperweight. This one's Viking, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not actually, I just learned this. It's something else, I can't remember. Well, maybe it is Viking. Anyway, $8 for a happy penguin family. I feel like that's important. Also, I'm completely out of room on my basket. I'm not calling them though, that's really mean. Here, I'm just gonna start a pile next to my basket and carry that one down because it's so heavy. Actually, someone might trip and fall. This is a lot right now. I've resorted to taking my clothes off. <laughs> and then back here, this doesn't really look like my thing, thank goodness. <laughs> Except that open sign. What is that open sign? I have to know. Oh, <gasps> stop, dude, it's just double-sided. I think I need that. Oh my gosh, 
That's really great. That's so good. All right, well, I've decided I need to slow down and chill and uh, at least keep track of how much stuff I got. Honestly, I'm still really into the candle holders downstairs. Um, but in the meantime, I think I gotta take care of what I got. I'm definitely gonna be staying here tonight. So if there's something troubling me that much in the morning, I can come back for it. Okay, I finally figured it out. My friend just got back to me. It's uh, Weller, so for that, I'm gonna leave it, even though it's a really nice piece. Just not what I thought it was. All right, so the lady I was chatting with, she says, that these belonged to the most fabulous woman. Uh, she lived to be 111 and uh, was Miss West Virginia when she was young. So needless to say, the f needless to say, the fact that she said that she'd do 130 on the pair tells me that I actually just need these because the story alone is so special. It's such a great sentiment. And uh, she said it was the most fabulous house in Portsmouth. And the fact that she was West Miss Virginia. I mean, I need West uh, Miss West Virginia's candelabras, I think. Well, that was incredible. What an incredible experience. An awesome shop. What a great story. I love the Miss West Virginia uh, sentiment. I spent $460 in there, which is a lot. But it's also not including the $200 I spent on myself. <laughs> Whoops. So, uh, when in Rome, right? I'm going to continue. I don't think I have that much time till things close. I kind of spent the day here. I'm not mad about it. Uh, it's been a really fun experience and I will see you guys later.